If you're considering a move to Johnstown, Colorado, but you wish you knew more about it, you have come to the right place. Hi, I'm Brian McKinnon with Sears Real Estate, and I'm a local real estate agent right here in Northern Colorado. Today, I'm gonna to share with you five pros and five cons of living in Johnstown, Colorado. So stay tuned. First, let's talk about the pros of living in Johnstown, starting with shopping. Sentara is Northern Colorado's largest shopping hub, and half of it actually resides in, you guessed it, Johnstown. It doesn't matter what you're looking for, you can find it at Sentara. And when you are done, enjoy a meal at one of their top-notch restaurants, take in a movie, go ice skating, or check out their famous Christmas display in December. The second thing I love about Johnstown is its proximity. Located less than an hour from Denver, it's a quick jaunt down I-25 South to see some of the best sporting events, live performances, museums, dining, or whatever tickles your fancy. Johnstown is also less than 30 minutes from Loveland, Fort Collins, Windsor, and Greeley, and it really is the central location that draws a lot of people to the area. The third pro and the third thing I love about Johnstown is the cost of living compared to most of the other local cities we have already discussed. When you consider the average cost of groceries, real estate, utilities, and transportation, Johnstown's small size makes it far less expensive to live than popular places like Fort Collins and Denver. The next pro about living in Johnstown is the jobs. Johnstown has seen the job market increase by 4.1% over just the last year. Future job growth over the next 10 years is predicted to be 50.1% here, which is higher than the U.S. average of 33.5%. The average income of a Johnstown resident is almost $4,000 higher than the national average. And the median household income of a Johnstown resident is $78,298 today, more than $25,000 more than the national average. The last pro, or one of my favorite things about living in Johnstown is the schools. Weld County District RE5J is one of the top 15 school systems in the state, according to backgroundchecks.org, grading out very high in categories like academics, teachers, college prep, and health and safety. So now let's move on to the cons of living in Johnstown, starting with its boundaries. Most cities have downtown areas surrounded by individual neighborhoods and subdivisions, but if you look at a map of Johnstown, it looks pretty bizarre. Johnstown extends as far north as Highway 34 and as far south as County Road 38. It crosses I-25 in some places, but not in others, and it does have a centralized part of town, but the growth is happening mostly away from that area. Some might say it's weird, others would say it's unique, but it isn't changing anytime soon, and whatever the city is doing, it's working. If your idea of the perfect place to live includes skyscrapers, taxi cabs, and food carts on every corner, Johnstown is not the place for you. With a population of almost 15,000, it's still a small town and it feels like one, which is a good thing to some, but it's not for everyone. The next con of living in Johnstown is Old Town versus New. Like I said before, with its weird boundaries and growth far away from Old Johnstown, there exists a division between the two subcultures. Some residents who have been here for years may be a little resentful of the influx of new homes and the growth of their once quaint little town. Those people moving into these new neighborhoods aren't quite as adamant about keeping things the way they have always been and want to add new things, businesses, parks, etc. to keep up with the growing population. The next con of living in Johnstown is its growth. The population may be around 15,000 for now, but Johnstown is booming. With that growth will come an increase in the cost of living, busier streets, and a need for more resources. 
The town has done a terrific job of keeping up with the demand, but there will continue to be more challenges along the way as the town continues to attract more people. The final con of living in Johnstown that I want to end on is also a pro, and that is the cost of living. So let me explain. It may be an inexpensive place to live now, but that will change as more people continue to plant roots here. The population has almost doubled in size over the last 10 years, and it's not showing any signs of slowing down. And as long as the oil and gas industry and the agricultural industry continue to bring jobs to the area, that growth will make Johnstown a more expensive place to live. Hey, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, check out the pros and cons video I made right here. And please make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know every time I post a new video. And if you are thinking about making a move to Northern Colorado, please keep me in mind because in real estate, who you work with matters. Thank you for watching.